All right, let's go to question 20. Uh, Jillian Perez says, what's your favorite way to witness to strangers? I don't really know how to answer that question. My favorite way um, is when they're like, hey, what's so different about you? <laughs> the question that nobody ever asks. <laughs> um, wow, you just seem so alive what is it about you <laughs> nobody asks that what what else um my favorite way to witness to them i'll say when witnessing my favorite thing is getting to the real heart of the gospel um and being able to talk about um why why jesus is needed right and so um i i i like ray comfort's approach I think that that's like a good little blueprint for you that might give you some ideas on how to witness and share with people. He'll reg and he has tons of videos on Living Waters on the YouTube channel Living Waters where he talks about this. And we don't agree on everything, right? But that should be you should know that anytime I talk about anybody, we probably don't agree on everything. But he, here's a here's a guy that has spent m more hours witnessing to people than you've probably spent watching TV. <laughs> so um, it's it's. There's a, there's a practice and a deliberateness to it and a thoughtfulness to it as far as how to, how to get right to the heart of the issue, how to use questions and a friendly demeanor in order to um, evoke uh, an awareness of the need for Jesus and so they can realize that there's a problem for which Jesus is a solution. And so I think that, there, that you can do that. Um, using questions about the law are, it can be useful. Um, cuts through the self-righteous attitude most people have pretty quickly. So th that could be something to learn and grow from. Yeah. Um, let me see. There was I think there was something else I wanted to tell you guys. Something else I was thinking and talking. Not, I, I got nothing. I got nothing. All right. Well, so I'll see you guys uh, in, in two weeks. Friday, I'm going to tackle that question about Working out your own salvation with fear and trembling. I'd like to do actually a bit more of a thorough teaching on that. I think that's a good idea. So we'll tackle that one first up in two weeks. And then the rest of the 19 questions, as always, come from the live chat, right from you guys. And if you can't wait till then, go to BibleThinker.org. Check out my website. Everything's free on there, right? It's just the videos and stuff, but it's searchable in a way that lets you find specific timestamps. The exact second where I talk about a particular topic for you to think about as you learn to think biblically about everything. All right, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for your holy word. We thank you for the answers that scripture gives us and for the answers that we don't know the answers to, the questions we don't know the answers to. We we thank you that we completely can trust you with that, that we, we don't need all knowledge in order to um, feel confident about you, about your word, about Christ. We, we pray that you'd be glorified in our lives. I pray that even right now, you'd be reminding us of what our personal callings are, those you've called us to love and serve, the ways in which you've gifted us, the, the different opportunities we have around us that we'd see them all in light of ambition for the kingdom of Christ and how to use it for your glory. Help us to really be aware, Lord, we pray right now, to be aware of how we can actively serve you with our lives and not just live life with the knowledge of Christ, but live life as an agent for Christ. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen.